Happy Monday, everyone. Um, so in the month of February, I embarked on an experiment to try to lose 13 pounds and drop to 12% in four weeks. So the question is, did I lose 13 pounds and drop to 12% in four weeks? And what I did was just try to stay within a caloric range of 1,200 to 1,600 calories, follow my macros, increase my activity level by two to three times, by increase my activity by running two to three times per week and lifting weights moderately for two to three times per week. So the results, let's check it out. February 27th, I measured my body composition of the of it. Unfortunately, I only got down to 14.44%. So I did not hit it. All right. I did not hit it. Um, I was only able to lose six pounds uh, via the scale. Um, dropped my body fat percentage by two and a half percent. Okay. So I went from 16.8 to 14.44. Um, a majority of that came from fat mass, I lost five pounds of fat mass, um, within the four weeks, which is a phenomenal. And when you put yourself in a caloric deficit, um, you also tend to lose, um, lean mass as well. And so I lost about a pound of lean mass. So that's, that's expected. So here are some takeaways. Um, uh, could I have done 13 pounds in... Four weeks, absolutely, but it would have been miserable. Um, losing six pounds already, putting myself in a deficit of 1,600 calories um, was really hard. Um, by the last week, I started to feel some symptoms. Um, I started to get constipated. Uh, so I started to increase my prebiotics, probiotics, um, uh, aka fiber intake to try to flush it out, as well as my magnesium levels. Uh, come Saturday, it was fine. Um, but here's the cool thing, guys. Um, I lost weight. I dropped weight. I feel great. And that's the most important thing that matters. Um, and so for the month of February, I failed my experimentation. And I think this happens to a lot of people who have pretty high goals. 13 pounds for someone in my situation at the start of February, um, 173 at 17.17 um, 17, 17, or 16.8% um, is high for myself probably the highest it's ever been, but to try to lose 13 pounds and lose, um, uh, 6%, uh, 4% within four weeks time would have required a lot of strenuous activities, which uh, my body wasn't prepared for. And let's be honest. Um, I did not hit 1600 calories every day. Most days I did. Um, but I did not. So, um, so that is another reality of it. And so the progression goes from here. All right. So this was my, this was my, my first four weeks. I just want to lose weight as much as I can. Now this next month, month of March, I'm going to go through my general preparation phase. This is where I'm actually going to start having a more structured exercise program. That's going to target total body. My caloric intake is going to go back up. I'm no longer going to try to hit 1600 calories. I'm going to actually stay between 2000, 2100 to be more exact up to 2,700 calories. So my energy level is going to be much higher. I'm going to have more energy to hit the weights harder. I'm not going to feel as tired. I'm not going to feel like I need to rest more, even though I will be resting more. So this is going to be a more pleasant experience. And so what I want to take away from this, guys, is if you try to go on a weight loss program and you want to lose weight, depending upon where you are, you can definitely continue to put yourself in a high caloric deficit. But it's probably not going to be the most positive experience you'll have. It's going to be cool to see the weight drop down. Okay. But I want to really emphasize that when you try to lose weight and put yourself in a severe caloric deficit, it should be very, very temporary. It shouldn't be no more than eight weeks, really, unless you still have a lot of fat mass to drop. Um, and as long as your energy levels aren't dipping, mine started to dip on that fourth week. I was very tired very lethargic. I was going to bed super early, which was great. I was getting a lot of rest, dropping down that body fat percentage, but man, I could definitely feel it. I started to get a little bit, I started to be more hungry um, as the days went on. And so I was fighting that on top of being a trainer, trying to run a business, be my family, spend time with my kids. And so that is not a pleasant experience. And that is something that not everyone should be feeling uh, long-term. So again, if you're going to try to lose weight, try to lose weight in the first four weeks. And really all you got to do is bring your caloric, uh, calories down put yourself in a significant amount of deficit. Um, also be realistic with your, with your weight loss, 13 pounds. I already knew from the get go that it was a lot. It's going to require a lot. Um, and I shared that in order for me to do that, I'd have to consume about 1200 calories. And I already knew that was going to be too low. 
So I dropped it down to 1600, stayed within 2000. Um, and I still was able to lose weight, but Hey, it was way too low. I'm going to be increasing my activity level for the month of March. I'll be turning 34. So I'm excited for this. Um, um, I'm definitely going to be try to work on becoming, it's not the fittest. I won't say this is going to be the most, uh, the most rigorous program, but it's going to be a total body. So I'm going to see a nice change in my physique. Okay. Um, so stay tuned. I expect to still get down to 12%, right? I still expect to be losing some weight. Um, even though I'm increasing my caloric intake, right? I'm going from about 1600, 2000 to now to 2000 to 2700 calories and watch the weight's still going to drop my, and that's because I'm increasing my intensity levels and having more structure into my strength training program because of the increased calories. I should have more energy to put more intensity into the work, therefore expending more calories, um, uh, and overall I shouldn't be feeling tired. Okay. That's, that's the biggest one. You shouldn't be feeling tired. You shouldn't be feeling low in energy. And if you are, I strongly recommend taking a break from being in a caloric deficit for a few weeks. If that's something you really want to do, okay, this is called reverse dieting, increase your caloric intake. Okay. Basically feed the body what it wants. Feel good about yourself. Okay. Uh, get, uh, get rid of all the cravings and urges you might have right? For about a week or two and then get back on it. Okay. This is called cycling. Uh, for some programs, it's called periodization for others. Um, uh, but for the most part, it just, it's a reset. Um, give yourself that break. Your body needs it, especially if you've been doing, if you're putting yourself in a deficit for a very long time and, uh, stay tuned. I got some before and afters to show you for tomorrow. Um, I got a program to put out there for anyone that wants to join. Let me know. And, uh, let's keep moving.